Okay, y'all, it is lunchtime. I'm not sure if you can see me because this glare is crazy, but I'm just getting to my car on my lunch break. Hmm. I'd be so interested. Did I? I'm confused. I'd be real confused. <laughs> At this point, I don't know if I'm parking in the wrong spot or what. <sighs> because all of our parking spaces have, well, everybody's in the sales department has sales. So my parking space has sales on it. I used to know my parking space because it was beside this cone. Now they moved the cone and this car right here, I'm not sure if I parked at her park or, but I always counted three parks over. So now I'm kind of like confused. And like, am I parking at her space? I don't know, probably did. So I'm trying to figure out now, is it, three over from I don't know because I think I think I'm at her park and she's in mine but anywho she told me before it don't matter long as our two parks are there and she could park in one or the other but I'm like I still want to I don't know you know I don't want to park in her park but we do have specific park that's specific for the sales department um, and we do, we were assigned, everybody was assigned their own parking space, but it just doesn't have our name on it. So I'd be a little confused between the two parts, like I said, cause I have to count over. So I don't know, but what I did want to come and talk to y'all about is <laughs> while I'm sitting at work on my downtime, I have conversations with friends and, you know, my kids, if they text me and we talking through text or we have a conversation. So it's kind of crazy because three of, I had four conversations, but I think the first one is too personal for me to come on and talk about. Not personal for me or the person, but we just had a personal conversation in general. Um, so I won't share that one. But the next one was um, having the spirit, the spirit of discernment. I feel like I'm one of those people who I have a real big spirit of discernment. And it's so crazy because if I ever tell my kids that they need to watch out for somebody, nine times out of 10, it's something that I, I felt or something in my spirit told me to warn them. And it's always, my kids can, if you talk to my kids, they can always tell you. If I've ever warned them about somebody and they didn't take heed, they realized, they ended up realizing later on that that person was not who they thought it was. And I've never been wrong when it came to that. Never. <laughs> I don't think one of my sisters would mind me sharing this, but my sister had a friend and I, for some reason, that specific friend, um, just didn't sit right in my spirit. And I would tell my sister all the time. And later on, she found out that that friend was a snake in the grass. Um, but I just, I, it's not usual that I don't care for somebody. Um, when I say I don't, I don't want to say don't like somebody because I really don't just go around not liking people. I love everybody, no matter what, no matter if you've done something to wrong me, I still love you. Um, I just know how to make peace with it and keep my space. Um, that's just always been me. Um, so if I still saw this person, I would speak, but I know not to, um, exchange words with that person or to 
mingle with that person per se um so if you feel like you have the spirit of discernment um make sure you take heed because it be real setbacks um i feel like and i had to tell my my friend the conversation we had i feel like setbacks are majority of the time setbacks have their reason everything is in god's plan um, so I think setbacks are God's way to set you up for something bigger and greater. Most of the time. Um, like I left my job of 10 years, went to work at this mortgage company that made good money, but I was unhappy with the job that I was at. So, um, they did a layoff. And, you know, if you just watching my video, that's what occurred. They did a layoff. And that layoff, um, I thought was the worst thing ever. But it turned out to be the best thing ever for me. Money-wise, as well as um, I not only make good money, but also make enough money to do what I need to do, as well as be happy in my job. Like, I absolutely love my job here. Um... I felt like I was saying it too much, so I kind of stopped talking about work and work-wise, but I absolutely love my job. I love the people I work with. I'm comfortable here. Um, I work with good people. Um, I don't have any issues at work. It's not a stressful job. Um, actually, I feel like I have a job where I work with people who are really caring, like my manager, she offered about y'all i'm talking away and i ain't even eating my lunch let me get to eating my lunch too my manager she actually like offers the buyers lunch like she said i just love y'all i just wanna because it's only and what what i do here it's only three of us it's my manager who is our boss um me and another lady we do the same thing um so like it's a it's a really good position really good um my position kind of saved the company a lot of money um because they actually had a company that was a company out of uh, california that was doing what i do um and they were able to hire me to replace that company um so that was the good thing about that and i kind of I, I just looked up on this position um i really feel like it was in the plan like i said i feel like you know it was in the plan for this um but how i got the position i feel like i kind of really looked up um they had 250 applicants and out of 250 applicants they interviewed five people and out of those five people, they chose me. So I feel really blessed um, to have this position. Um, because as y'all know, like I still do my own company on the side in the afternoons um, and all of that. But I just really needed something that allow me to mingle with people and allow me to get outside of the house and get out my own head because you know sometimes when you're at home looking at the four walls and you're going through things like you need you you may need it could be therapy talking to other people instead of being home being depressed and all of that so that's where i was you know if you're new because i know i have some new subscribers like I want my challenge my um my challenges to help somebody and my testimonies to be a help for somebody too. Um it may be somebody right now who just lost their job and maybe going through what I went through and not knowing how they're gonna make it out of it. But I'm here to tell you this message is to let you know that there is hope and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Cause trust, I've been there another conversation um i work with good people i do um but it was a specific lady she doesn't i'm not gonna go too much into it but she does she no longer works 
in office like she actually went to go work home and one particular day um when she came she was like watch out for such and such um y'all i'm eating spaghetti from last night i hope y'all can see me i hope y'all can see me but anyway she was like watch out for such and such and i kind of thought that was like high schoolish or whatever but you know i believe in getting to know people for yourself yes you gotta have that discernment if you feel weird vibes or you feel like that person listen listen to your thoughts because sometimes I, I admit sometimes i don't listen to my thoughts and i don't listen to my discernment i try to see the good in people even when i feel the hesitation um i'm trying to explain it in a in a way that's you know clear um but sometimes you know you try to see the good in people that aren't really there but the point i'm making is get to know people for yourself because in getting listening to other people you may miss out on meeting or getting to know somebody really good um i would also say each hurdle that you go over use it as a learning lesson but don't let it limit you don't let it limit you to the point where you stop trusting people uh to a certain extent to a certain extent now um but use it as a learning step not all people are the same just because you may have come in contact with one bad apple doesn't mean that all of the people in the world are bad so the point i'm trying to make with that is get to know people for yourself don't go by what somebody said this person is this way this person is that way a lot of times you will get to know people as who they are and just by getting to know them getting to know their habits getting to know the type of person they are um and you may see that that person's not who you thought they are but a lot of times um you may get to know somebody who's really nice like somebody who can become a real good friend um it's a lot of good people out there like <sighs> i would like to say but anyway the point of that is get to know people for yourself don't go by what the other people say um the last thing i want to touch on is and it's so crazy y'all i can look back like for the longest time like as long as i could remember i don't ever feel i don't ever feel like i ever felt jealousy for anybody and that's the god's honest truth um i'm i'm that type of person that when anybody have any accomplishments i'm excited for them i'm congratulating them i'm happy for them um i genuinely want to see everybody do good and see everybody grow even when i'm not i don't feel like i'm accomplishing my goals um or doing what i feel like i need to do the reason why I'm saying that is because I know that y'all, y'all know for the longest time before we got our house that we wanted, I wanted a house so bad. That's all I would talk about is when we get a house, when we move. But in the same token, I was watching people around me get new houses and I was happy for them. Like you gotta be happy for people. Even when you not meeting the goals you feel like you need to meet, you got to still be excited and happy for people because that's how you get your blessing. Like you get your blessing by um, staying humble, still appreciating everything that God gave you while praying for something better. Um, know that anything that anybody accomplished, you can do the same. They may have had it easier than you. Your journey may be easier than theirs. Yours may be harder than this, but if you work hard, anything you work hard at, you can accomplish.
And I'm telling you this from experience. Um, you may look at somebody and they may have the nicest car and the nicest house and the, the best job. You, you don't, you never know their story. You never know what they had to do to get where they are or what they had to go through or even what they'll have to do to keep what they, whatever they have. So appreciate your journey as your journey and congratulate people. Be happy for people, genuinely happy. And I, y'all, I'm telling you, I can, I smile and I, I, I smile and get so happy and excited when I see people like, I wanted a house for the longest, but when my sister got her house, y'all, I was so excited and happy for my sister. That's just the type of person I am. I'm genuinely happy for people. When my best friend got her house, even though I wanted a house, I didn't feel an ounce of jealousy. I knew that my day was coming and I was happy, so happy to congratulate her. So I'm using that as an example because I'm saying like, you, you never know anybody's journey. So just appreciate everything that you're giving and every, wherever you're at. Know that your day is coming. It's going to be your time too. So I hope those conversations help um, y'all as they've helped me today, like actually think about life, life journeys, things that's going on. Like sometimes I just like to often reflect and just write in my journal about different things. And from time to time, I come on the channel and I share it because I be like, oh, I didn't think of that. Like, that really touched me. Or that really made me think about a certain situation. 